Since we're joining us now from there is Liana Canelli. She's a communist member of the Greek parliament who opposes the austerity measures being imposed by the Eurozone. But Liana Canelli, how does it feel being Greek tonight, given that the whole of the Eurozone is blaming Greece for, well, basically threatening the entire world economy? I will be honest with you. We feel bold and beautiful. It's chill in Athens, but you still need the Acropolis to have a European idea of civilization. We are still bold and beautiful. And we are not responsible for a declaration and a decision for a referendum which was not taken uh, under any democratic way. So, so in do, the do country you oppose of the referendum? Do you oppose the referendum? Oh, oh, yes, we do oppose the referendum because it's a fake referendum. It is a blackmail question and it is in the middle of a crisis, not only in Europe, but in the whole capitalistic world. But we don't actually know what the question is yet, do we? I think that the question is going to be, do you want to die or you want to be killed? So <laughs> this is not a question for any reasonable nation. And Greeks are so reasonable that Winston Churchill, about a century ago, said that it's not heroes, it's not but heroes that fight like Greeks. So but, we are but, going to but, fight like heroes. Liana Canelli, I, 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 mean, like I, I, I don't want to rain on your parade because it's a jolly impressive one. But nevertheless, let's be candid. Greece was a mess. You haven't been collecting taxes properly. You hardly have a taxation system that's worth the name. Uh, I mean, it, 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 this was a shambles. And the, the very rich in particular never paid any tax, as you know better than anybody. You're, you're a communist. You've watched them over the years. Uh, I mean, this is a shambles. And, and you've really only got yourselves to blame. Dear, there's a lot of money produced by the Greek people, which is practically stolen. So if they cannot take the money that has been stolen out of my country, or they put it in different businesses all over the world, or they put it in Swiss banks, and now they have to take it back, if you were a Greek, answer the question, would you bear with your salary have been cut in half, 50% down, to pay six different taxes in less than two months. Nobody can pay the taxes now in Greece. Well, what is the solution then? What, what in a word, is the solution? In democracies, there is only one solution. There is only one. Elections. Let people try to give you the idea what this country can do, can produce, can pay back, and can be truly a rich country. Only with elections, my dear. Otherwise, this is not a democracy. And I don't understand why Europe is so much afraid of elections. Elections is something you talk about. You can express yourself. We can, we can make the questions and can give the answers. Try us. Instead of dealing only with Nick the Greek, or sorry, George the Greek, and then putting the blame on the shoulders of the whole Greek population. Liana Canelli, I'm very grateful to you indeed for talking to us. Perhaps we can talk to you again later Thank on in the Thank you crisis. very, Thank very you. much, and Thank I know everybody understands me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, we 